three. To make this dish, we need what you call pounded yam. This is already the prepared one, and this is the main staple of the food. And I'll show you how to do that too. Here is the vegetable that goes with it. Since it's called pounded yam and vegetable, this is the vegetable. Here we bought spinach, two bundles of them. You know, they are quite fresh. Mushroom enhances the food. So when you get mushroom, you add it to it, you take a little bit, not all of this, take about, maybe about six of this and cut it up and add it to it. It just gives it a little bit of flavor. Onions, three onions. Onions are very, very important because what they do, they infuse it with this nice, nice, nice aroma. So three onions will do and you use this I'll tell you what, how you're going to use it, you know, in a few, pretty soon. Then this is shrimp. Shrimp is a uh, dry shrimp. When you add dry shrimp to, to, your, to, your, to, your, to, your, to your soup, it's just totally delicious. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, we have three tomatoes here, medium sized ones. And what you use, you cut them up and use it in conjunction with the tomato paste because then it thickens everything. You know, the paste itself acts as a thickener and it gives it a little bit of different flavor because this is fresh and this is a little bit uh, concentrated. So, what happens to it is that when you put them together, they mellow each other out. And here is the almighty cayenne pepper. Every Yoruba, there's a proverb that says, a body that does not eat pepper is not a, a very serious body. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very, you know, alive, so to say. And then um, here, what we try to use, especially around here, we have the access to it around the US, we have coarse sea salt. You know, they have all the minerals in them, they haven't been, it's, this is all refined sea salt. So you try, strive for it whenever you want to cook. They are better for you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and this is a, a cross. What we, we use this one here sometimes, just to, you know, when you have it, when you have it, you have it, you know. That's why I know it. This is a cross, it's called okra. I'll show you what they look like. You know, okra, it just, Makes it much more, you don't need this, but sometimes you just add it for, I mean, you cook it separately, and I'll show you how to do that too, you know. And these are okras here, you chop them up and cook with them. They are very good for you too, mm -hmm. nutritious. And then, um, the last but not the least is like appetizer, but they call them plantains. And what we do with them, we'll take them, we'll chop them, we'll fry them and I will lay them by the table, you know, this in here. I eat, we can eat this before the main course. That's what it is for. This is a very, very nutritious too and it's good for your body. You know, mm -hmm. so the Nigerians, I mean the Yorubas especially, they love good food. Mm -hmm. And when you see them, when they, they want to marry, they, if the woman doesn't know how to cook, they don't want to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> anyway, so this is, a, you know, it's a mark of, you know, uh, cooking, you know, eating and eating well is uh, it's, uh, they look at it as a very health, healthy way of life. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Three. Oh, I forgot one very, very important ingredient. And uh, we're using today beef. Normally you can use beef, you can use chicken, you can use fish. Or to people who are health conscious, you can use tofu, you know. So basically what you do, we're using today, we're using uh, the main, this is the main thing that actually everything supports. You know, the other ones are the supporting part for the, for the main, you know, 
So this, this is beef today. And mm. it's about uh, a pound and a half of beef. Okay. You know, 